Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkel in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. See, I know this is a bit tough. Many of you feel it is tough. I am going to go a bit slow. So, in case if you feel my video speed is slow, you can just increase its speed to 1.25. Okay. Now, we need to evaluate integral 3x minus 2 under root 2x square minus x plus 1 dx. Okay. This is a very important question as per intermediate board exam. Right. Chalo. The method is the method is first we are going to write this 3x minus 2. We are going to write this 3x minus 2 as a into derivative of this 2x square minus x plus 1 plus b. That's the technique. This is my first step and mark it as 1. Okay. Now listen. Now a into a is there as it is derivative of 2x square. See, derivative of x square is nothing but derivative of x square, derivative of x square, derivative of x square is nothing but 2x, derivative of x square is nothing but 2x and also have a 2 beside. So, 2 into 2x is 4x. That's why I have here in the bracket 4x, fine. Okay? Now, derivative of x is 1 and in between there is minus, so minus 1 is there. Derivative of 1 is 0, okay. So, derivative of 1 is 0. That's why it's not there. So that's why I have a into 4x minus 1. Derivative of this bracket is nothing but this 4x minus 1. And then plus b, it's there as it is. Okay. Now, just multiply 4ax minus a plus b. Now, compare the coefficients of x and constants. Compare the coefficients of x and constant. So, 4a, beside x, I have 4a. Here, beside x, I have 3. So, that's why I get 4a equal to 3. And here, I have minus a plus b. And here, I have minus 2. That's why I get a minus a plus b is nothing but minus 2. Okay. Fine. 4a equal to 3. So, a is 3 by 4. Fine. So, send the 4 there. So, I get a is equal to 3 by 4. And uh, now, minus a plus b is equal to minus 2. So, in place of a, put minus 3 by 4. So, minus 3 by 4 plus b is equal to minus 2. Send this minus 3 by 4 to the RHS. So, I get b is equal to 3 by 4 minus 2. And send the 4 here. So, 3 minus a 8 by 4. So, minus 5 by 4. 3 minus 8 is minus 5. So, b is nothing but minus 5 by 4. Okay. So, we got a as 3 by 4 and b as minus 5 by 4. Now, substitute the values of a and b in 1, what we marked as 1. Okay. So, I would get 3x minus 2 is equal to 3 by 4 derivative of this minus 5 by 4. See, right? See, a into a is 3 by 4. So, 3 by 4 into this de derivative of this, b is minus 5 by 4. So, 5 is minus 5 by 4. So, I get minus 5 by 4. So, this is what I have. Okay. Now, now, this is our, you know, foundation. This is our first thing which we have to do. Okay. Now, 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 <coughs> let's come to our integral. What do we have to integrate? This is what we have to integrate. Integral 3x minus 2 under root 2x square minus x plus 1 dx. Okay, fine. I need even more of your focus. Okay, this is going to be you need to be alert to understand. Even though I'm going slow, you st I still need your attention. Hmm. See, listen, everything is difficult until it becomes easy. So, put in some effort until it becomes easy. Okay, it might appear a little, little bit difficult, but stay with me. I'll try my best to make it as easy as possible. Now, you see 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2 is nothing but this 3 by 4 into derivative of this minus 5 by 4. So, in place of 3 by 4 in our integral, just put that. That's all. Now, now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to like multiply, the, open this bracket, like 3 by 4 derivative of this into root of this dx and I'm going to integrate separately, okay. This is what I'd get. 3 by 4 derivative of this into this dx minus 5 by 4 into this Okay, minus 5 by 4 into this root of 2x square minus x plus 1 dx. I hope it's clear. I'm integrating separately. Right? Okay, now these are constants. Okay, these are constants. 3 by 4 is a constant, 5 by 4 is a constant. You can just bring it outside the integral. Fine. Right? I hope everything is clear up till now. Now, listen to me. Here, are, here is a very important tip. Here, very important uh, tip, uh, or, I, or I should say advice. Do not integrate these two at one time because it 
the steps will be pretty big in the textbook he has given it like in small steps but actually if you do they come the steps are a bit more so integrate these two separately integrate these two separately so first i'm going to take this one as i1 and this one as i2 and integrate and then at, at the end i'm going to write like this integral equal to write this integral is equal to i1 minus i2 because in between there is minus okay now let i1 is equal to the first integral now there is a very good technique to integrate this what is that means whenever if you see this format this is like under root of a function beside that i have derivative of that function okay see whenever the in uh, integ indefinite integration you, you can check out the textbook this is there whenever there is something like integral root of f of x into derivative of f of x dx it's there this is nothing but 2 by 3 into f of x whole power 3 by 2 plus constant okay if not this formula directly something similar to this at least you will find out but this you can use it it's okay okay fine so integral root f of x into f dash of x dx if you observe our integral is exactly of the same form our integral is exactly of the same form here i have root some function into derivative of that function fine so what is the answer 2 by 3 into that function power 3 by 2 so my function is 2x square minus x plus 1 power 3 by 2 and this 3 by 4 is already there in the beginning 3 by 4 into 2 by 3 this plus c instead of c just put c1 because i am going to i took it as i1 so i want to keep the constant as c1 so basic simplification 3 3 would get cancelled 2 1 the 2 2 zero. fine so in case you know you feel this is difficult you can come in the comments box i'll try to teach you some other way in which you know you need not have to remember the formula but still you could do this this is somewhat similar to you know this is somewhat similar to integration okay fine leave it i don't want to confuse you i don't want to confuse you just remember this formula okay just remember this i don't want to confuse you guys fine just remember this formula and apply it. so 3 3 cancel 2 1 are 2 2 are okay fine now next next so 1 by 2 this so i1 is done i1 is done now i2 i2 is a little difficult than i1 okay now i2 is this 5 by 4 integral this now what we need to do is first we have to write this as some perfect square plus another perfect square this one a perfect square plus another perfect square now, how i'm going to do it please stay with me this is what we have first take two common our first objective is to make the coefficient of x square one so it has two already so take two common from the, all the terms so what i'd get is if i'll take two common so i get two into x square here there is no two so assume like two by two is there so that two got out and one by two is there one by two into x is x by two and again this one you can write it as two by two two is taken out right otherwise if you feel this difficult see another way multiply multiply this like two into x square is two x square two into minus x by two two to cancel and minus x and then two into one by two again plus one so i'm getting the same thing so you can think of this like something you know I, i've done something so that you know i'm getting this i mean you can go reverse also fine to understand whether it's working or not it's correct now within this bracket within this within this now just multiply and divide by 2 here in the second term so right like you can make it 2x by 4 okay i did that now y means see now this i can write it as x square minus 2 into x into 1 by 4 if you observe the first three terms they are in the form a square minus 2ab they are of the form a square minus 2ab a square minus 2ab now to make this a perfect square what do i need i need b square so i'm going to add and subtract b square plus b square minus b square that's why you know why i why i multiplied and divided by 2 so that i could get 2 into some, x into something so to get that here there was no 2 so fine so that's what you're gonna see one by four whole square and one by now these three terms these three terms these three terms form a minus b whole square are in the form of a minus b whole square so this would be nothing but x minus one by four whole square and now one by four whole square is 16 so that's what you would see minus one by 16 plus one by two. so i just rearranged one by two minus one by 16 i wrote now just take lcm i'd get uh, here 2 is there here 16 so 2a uh, multiply and divide by 8 8 by 16 minus 1 so 8 minus 1 by 16 i just just took lcm okay nothing much so i get 
this sound is but but i told you guys right i need a perfect square plus another perfect square now what to do with this 7 by 16 hmm what to do just write it as root 7 by 4 whole square because 16 can be written as 4 square that is totally okay 7 you can just write it as root 7 whole square so root 7 by 4 whole square ultimately it comes down to okay i know this might be a bit boring and you might feel why there are so many steps you know i have made i have put in so many steps so that you guys can understand okay in exam no one is going to cut your marks if you write it a little lengthy okay but definitely they are going to cut your marks if you write something wrong okay so that's why it's okay to be lengthy and have clarity instead of you know just trying to cut down steps and you know do things or make allow things to work out that's what my suggestion is to you to all of you okay keep going let's keep going chalo now now let's come to our integral if you remember what was our integral this 5 by 4 under root this this 2x square minus x plus 1 i wrote it as this so that is nothing but this so my integral would be nothing but 5 by 4 integral this instead of that 2x square minus x plus 1 i wrote this 2 into fine now you might ask me why go through all this why why to do all this okay pretty simple thing now listen listen uh okay uh this root 2 is there right uh, this is like under root 2 into something so root 2 i am going to bring it out and it's a constant i can keep it outside the integral now i am left out with just this okay now i need even more of your attention and focus here i am going to use some formula from indefinite integral this is like the form integral under root x square plus a square this is of the form integral under root x square plus a square instead of x there is x minus 1 therefore instead of a uh, instead of a I have root 7 by 4 okay. i'm going to show show it oh don't get afraid don't get afraid okay after seeing this step like oh what is this step so many brackets and like oh my gosh what's going on here <laughs> my god don't get afraid like that i'm going to go slow and explain see first see the formula integral under root x square plus a square is nothing but x root x square plus a square by 2 plus a square by 2 sin h inverse x by a plus constant okay now if you observe just compare this and this see here in place of x in place of x here i have x minus 1 by 4 in place of a i have root 7 by 4 this much is clear this much you understand now let us apply this in this formula now come to the rhs phi root 2 by 4 it's already there let it be as it is now <sighs> chalo this is nothing but x under root x square plus a square by 2 okay so this 2 is nothing but half okay half 1 by 2 i wrote it in the beginning i wrote it in the beginning okay now Half into x, x what? X in place of x, I have x minus one by four. That x is this. Half x root of x square plus a square. Just write this as it is. I hope the first part is clear. X plus a square by two means half into a square. So half I wrote here. A square is root seven by four whole square. Sine h inverse x by a. X is nothing but this x minus one by four. A is nothing but root seven by four plus constant c two. I am taking it as c two because my integral is i two. Okay. fine i hope i explained it in a decent manner i went slow but still for any further doubts you can just come in the comments box you can just mention that you know at this minute i did not understand it so that i can elaborate that a bit more better later i mean in the comments box i could help you out now this now you don't have to do anything much uh, changes like if you see in the textbook also the answer is also pretty similar answer will also come you know something of this form only Fine. Now, root seven by four whole square is nothing but uh, you know seven by sixteen. Now observe how uh, all the simplifications are. The first term is kept as, as it is. It's just written as it is. For the second term, half into root seven by four. Root seven square is seven, and four square is sixteen. So seven by two into sixteen is seven by thirty-two. Fine. Now sine h inverse x minus one by four. See x minus one by four. This bracket. You know how the how to simplify this is. X minus one by four is nothing, but if you take LCM, this four would go here. Four x minus one. I'll get four x minus one by four by root seven by four. I'm just telling for your. Then root four four would get cancelled. I'm left out with four x minus one by root seven. That's what I have. 
fine we are almost done we are almost done i know this is going a bit long yeah for for you guys to understand i need to go slow okay i do not want to just say things in a hurry in a hurry and like you know you guys are not understanding that would be futile i mean that won't give any benefit to either of us and i want to help you out and like you also need help so i need to go slow now i2 is also done now our integral now our integral okay if you guys remember i'll just show you in case if you guys forget see let us come this was our original integral okay this was our original integral this i wrote it as this minus this this i took it as i1 this i took it as i2 so this integral is nothing but i1 minus i2 okay now from there that's the story from there we are continuing and we took so many steps now i1 is nothing but this answer and i2 is nothing but this okay fine okay just i put down the two things together now some basic simplification okay some basic simplification i'm doing here what is that is see the first thing is as it is like half into this power three but that's just as it is you you can observe the way i wrote like since it is becoming too big i did not write it in just one step i broke it into two steps this is perfectly fine this is a good way of representing whenever you know the steps the step is a bit lengthy so you could use two lines like this the way i used here this is a good practice now 5 root 2 by 4 okay i wrote it as, i simplified this 5 root in the next step you see there is just one change 5 root 2 by 4 i wrote it as 5 by 2 root 2 how means see i'm just explaining it for your understanding Phi root two by four is nothing but phi root two by two can be written as two into two. Okay. Now phi root two by two can be written as root two whole square. Two can be written as root two whole square into two. Now one root two. Now one root two, one root two will get cancelled. Phi by two root term left. So phi root two by four is nothing but phi by two root two. Okay. Now see this is not exactly matching with the textbook answer. Some basic touch, final touch is needed. You know. some basic touch is needed so that you know i can fit and one more thing here i had two constants c1 and c2 the c1 minus c2 i can take it as another constant c1 as c okay the c1 minus c2 i took it as c fine now now what to do to match this with the textbook answer just multiply that's all like multiply this 5 root 2 now see minus 5 root 2 into 1 by 2 so i'll get minus 5 by 4 root 2 this entire thing okay and next minus 5 by 2 root 2 into this Five sevens are thirty-five, and thirty-two root two into thirty-two is sixty-four root two. Sign H in was this. That's all. That's all. We are done. This is the answer given in the textbook. This is an example question of textbook, a two-way textbook. Okay, I just explained it. I just elaborated it. You know, they integrated it at one place. I just uh, integrated it separately because you know. i felt it would be a bit tough to if i were to if i wanted to do that you know like write uh, integrate everything in one step i mean uh, integrate everything uh, in one shot i mean not write not write using i1 and i2 then uh, my my font size would be very small it would be too small so i feel I, that could cause some difficult and the presentation also would not be that good i felt because of that i felt you know like this i1 and i2 i kept and did it and it's perfectly all right if you do it like this in fact you know uh, the examiner would like it if you integrate like this separately because it will be really neat you can see you can see my process i mean the the way i did it's really neat you know nowhere you have to worry about you know the page is this much and my step is this much it's too big it it was pretty neat only at the last you have to use two line but yes overall i felt i did a decent job on this fine and uh, not just this question i've covered other questions related to indefinite integration as well the reduction from the sine power of x cos power of x and you know other questions from indefinite integration and definite integration and differential equations so i'll request you to please check out the description for some further links also you could go to my channel for some other playlists so max to as well like binomial theorem theory of equations etc fine uh, in case you like this video please hit the like button it would encourage me to make many more of such videos okay and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it thank you